Good morning, everyone. I had absolutely no plans to film today. It was not even a thought in the back of my mind, but I was getting ready this morning and I thought, why not? I haven't filmed in a really long time. Today I am stacked with so many appointments. We're going to a handful of listings, one that is closing soon, one that's coming on the market next week, and another one that just got listed a week ago and a showing and all of this stuff. So I thought, why not bring you guys along? There is so much to do, so much to see about what it's like to be a real estate agent today. And yeah, I'm super excited. So if you guys want to see more, let's get into it. So we're here at my listing on Bundy Drive. We are closing in a couple weeks. We finally lifted all of our contingencies. And today the buyers, they wanted to stop by, measure out some few things, check out the furniture since my client is looking to sell some of her things to make the moving process easier. Um, typically I would say in real estate, a buyer is allowed to stop by at any point up to the end of their inspection contingency. That being said, I've personally never been denied access to a home, nor have I ever denied someone access to my listing. Simply just want to be courteous, want to work well with, you know, the buyer's agent and their clients. Um, but of course you can use it as an opportunity to have a little bit of leverage. For example, um, I said they were more than welcome to come by but they had to finalize and lifting all of their contingencies in order to do so, which means that we're pretty much on a set sale to closing. We just need to get loan docs signed and everything else finalized. Someone needs to explain to me why I thought that the valet handing their hand out to grab my ticket meant they were trying to fist bump me. Someone, please, I am so awkward. Um, anyways, uh, as you guys can see, I just left the office and unfortunately it's a little bit difficult to film and speak in there now. We are finalizing renovations and as you guys saw, it's a very open, collaborative kind of workspace. And speaking and filming in there would have been a little weird and it also probably would have been bothersome to people that are actually trying to get their work done. That being said, basically for the hour that I was there, I did some transaction management, making sure my escrow is running smoothly for Bundy, getting all the paperwork tidied up. I worked on some social media marketing that I needed to get printed and some materials that I needed to design and print for the open house that I'm hosting this Sunday for my new listing at Hillside, which we'll be going to later today. And basically that was about it. I only had an hour to get in there and then get out. And now we are headed to another upcoming listing that we have in Bel Air. This is going to be a amazing development opportunity. It is a home that has such a beautiful story to it. And so we're going to head on over there. I'm going to show you the home, give you a little tour, and then tell you the backstory of this home and um, all the stuff we're doing to get it market ready. So I'm stepping out for a second because our photographer is in the middle of doing our 3D virtual Matterport tour. But I wanna tell you a little bit about this property. It has a beautiful, but also just really sad story behind it in a way. So Betty, the owner, 
she's lived here since 1985 that is over 30 years of being in this home and she just got to a point where she was no longer able to live on her own she's getting a bit too old and had to move to the east coast to be with her niece and um basically have someone help take care of her she ended up leaving probably 90 percent of her belongings behind and basically she left the job for us to come in and clear the, out the entire home to get it ready for the market and you know we had to go through all of her things and send them away and it was just it was very heartbreaking in a way but um in a way we we're also very blessed to be trusted to do such an important move for her we are headed to west hollywood to um my listing that we just put on a week ago and i'll see you there we are here at my listing in west hollywood we have a showing in 30 minutes that we need to get ready for so i'll see you inside a two bedroom, two bathroom condominium um, right around the corner from the base of Runyon Canyon. So this home has access to basically everything active and social here in Hollywood Hills. We're super close to the Sunset Trip. I just got the home prepped for showings, basically just making sure everything's tidy up, everything looks good, all the lights are on, put on some candles, whatever it may be, just making sure this home feels and looks great for the potential buyers and let's hope it goes well. All right guys, we just finished the showing. It went really well. I also dropped off six of my open house signs for that listing's open house this Sunday. So we are pretty much all set for the day. Um, I'm ending it on a pretty early note, but it is a Friday night and I wanted to take a little bit of time for myself tonight. That being said, I'll see you guys next time when I film another vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.